Welcome to another episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. My name is Michelle Davis and I'm your host. I'm just not back for another episode. I'm back for another season and I'm so excited that you're here to join me. So this is season five and if you caught the trailer, you know that season five is all about you need more than expertise when it comes to starting a coaching, consulting, or other service provider type business. And so this season, my focus is helping you to move forward and appreciate the expertise you have and start looking at yourself as the successful coach, consultant, or other service provider you are destined to be. So all of the episodes in this season will lead you to, you know, how do you feel confident being a coach? How do you Uh, put yourself out there so that you can be seen as an expert and how do you market yourself? Because these are all key elements to help you think of yourself not just as another online service provider, but as a business owner. So in this episode, I'm discussing establishing credibility and trust as a new service provider with no track record. Let's get into it. So it's not uncommon as a new service provider where you struggle with, you know, whether or not you really and truly have expertise. You struggle with thinking that you're good enough, you know, to put yourself out there and showcase yourself as an expert. And you probably even struggle with the fact that, you know, you may not even get clients. Who's going to trust you? You're brand new and you don't have you know, all of these client testimonials and and you don't have this track record that you see these other online coaches have. And the other thing that happens is a lot of what we see online contributes to how we feel about ourselves. And so when we hear and see other online coaches say things like, well, you can't start a coaching business if you don't have a track record. And they also say, You can't start a coaching or consulting business or be a service provider if you don't know how to get results for people. Now, both of those statements are true. You have to understand that you're an expert coming into the online space as a coach or consultant. So it's not that you you don't need results or need to know how to get people results, you do. And it's not that, you know, if you don't have a track record, you can't have a coaching or consulting business. It's how you think about what you do have instead of focusing on the things you don't have. So yes, it's very common to feel scared. It's very common to feel like you're unqualified. So in this episode, I want to empower you to think about how you are qualified and how you can showcase what you do know. Because remember, the the whole reason you can qualify yourself as a coach, as a consultant, or as some other service provider is you have a skill set, you have knowledge, you have expertise, you have experience. It's just time to reframe how you think of that experience and how you're going to showcase it to the world. So in this episode, I'm going to give you five ways you can establish credibility and trust, even if you're a new service provider with no track record. Okay, the first way you can establish credibility and trust is leverage your personal story. By leveraging your personal story, people get to see you as a real person and they get to form a deeper connection with you. And in a lot of ways, when done correctly, your clients will resonate with you in a way that allows them to envision themselves doing business with you because they see if they see your journey and they see who you are and what you've been through and what you've overcome and how you were able to still come here before them and as a testament that whatever the problem is that they're struggling with, they can overcome, they're going to be inspired by you. And so by leveraging your personal story, you're able to give people hope 
that there is a solution to what they're struggling with. You're giving people a, a reason to, to tune into you because they see you as someone who they resonate with, someone who they share a common situation or ordeal with, and, and they see you as, as the hope, the person that can actually kind of rescue them in a sense or help them overcome their situation. The best way for you to, to leverage your personal story is to connect your story and your reason for wanting to be a service provider, whether it's a coach, consultant, or, or some other type of service provider. Leverage your story and, turn, and connect to your mission. And that is going to allow people to build a deeper connection and see themselves in you. Okay, the second way you can establish credibility and trust as a new coach is put your voice out there in the online world. In today's age with social media and YouTube, you can't be on the sidelines and silent and want to get clients and earn an, an, an income as a service provider. You have to put yourself out there. So you need to get real comfortable creating content and sharing value with the very people you want to serve in your niche. You know, you want to talk about the ways that you can bring value to their lives through your content. And you have to remember, you are an expert because somewhere along the lines of something you've experienced throughout your career, your life, something that you've overcome, that you have skills and you have this deep knowledge that can solve problems for people. So don't be afraid to showcase that in the forms in the form of valuable content for people. People will tune in if they think they can get something from you in terms of value. Um, you know, so get real comfortable being out there in the online world, sharing short form content, sharing long form content, and whatever content you can do to, to connect with your target audience. What's the point of being an expert if you're afraid to share what you know? And so if you're striving to be an online service provider, whether it's coach, consultant, or, or some other type of service provider, you need to get into the habit of telling people who you are and what you're capable of doing. This is how you build trust, and this is how you put yourself out in the world and claim your place as an expert in your niche. Okay, another way you can establish credibility and trust as a new coach is offer free value. So previously I talked about putting your voice out there in the online world. So now I'm talking about, you know, creating something that's longer form, like a ebook or a webinar or a masterclass something that's downloadable, something that you can put together that helps people get a win and they get to get a sense of how you can help them solve their problem. The key to providing this valuable free offer is really getting to know who your target audience is and knowing what it is they're struggling with so that your ebook, your webinar, your masterclass, or whatever it is you create actually solves a problem for people. And I know it could be tempting to want to solve every problem they have, but that's why you want them to buy your service. The goal here is for people to connect with you, gain a sense of trust, have, you know, get a quick win uh, from the valuable information you provided to them and want to learn more about who you are and how to do business with you and how to enroll in your programs and services. Another way for you to build credibility and trust as a new service provider is share case studies and success stories. Your expertise comes from what you already know. So think about your life in terms of at what point in time in your career, in your personal life, where in your life has someone used your strategy to achieve a result? Was this in a career? Was this in your personal life? So think about these things and think them through because somewhere in there, 
uh, you can come up with a success story. If, if it's your own personal transformation, has someone witnessed your transformation? Did they witness how you did what you did? Whatever it is, and did you help someone else do it? So sit back, think about how your strategies and how your process has brought someone else success, and that is what you showcase to build credibility. Everything you showcase in the beginning, especially starting out, doesn't have to be from what you did as an online service provider. Remember, you are an expert for a reason. You're walking into the online world with expertise, unlike a lot of other people you see online. So don't diminish that and you and definitely embrace it because you're walking in with the ability to, to already deliver value to people based on what you already know. The fifth and final way to establish credibility and trust as a new coach is collaborate and network. And this just simply means connect with other people. So think about what niche you're in and who you want to serve and collaborate with the people who are aligned within that industry so that you can connect with those people and look for opportunities. Maybe there's an opportunity to co-create. Maybe there's an opportunity to go live with someone. Maybe there's an opportunity to appear on a podcast for an interview. Maybe there's an opportunity for you to create some valuable content where they can, where you deliver one part based on your expertise and they deliver something else. As long as it's aligned and you're helping the same target audience achieve a result, you know, it's a, it's a win-win. And the thing about when you collaborate and network with people, they will likely share what you created together. And so, you, you, yes, you have a small audience starting out and you may not have anything to bring to the table because of it, but, but, don't be afraid to collaborate anyway. Don't be afraid to network anyway, because for all of the possible no's or no responses that you may get when you ask people to collaborate, eventually there will be a yes. And as long as you're putting your voice out there and people are connecting with you and people are seeing you, people may start to approach you about your expertise and how you can deliver value to their audience as well. So that's it. And keep in mind as we close out this episode that building credibility takes time. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. And everyone you see online, every online coach, every online personality started somewhere. They were once like you, someone with no audience, some, you know, uh, you know, someone who probably had, you know, left their nine to five. They didn't walk onto the the internet world as an expert. They had to build themselves up and they had to grow and it took time. So remember the same thing, you know, as you navigate your own journey as a service provider is your journey is going to take time. And, and as long as you're consistent and as long as you're putting yourself out there and as long as you're ditching the excuses, you're going to get where you want to be. You just have to believe in yourself enough. Remember, building a successful online business is possible for you, even as a new coach. Stay focused, keep serving your audience, and believe in yourself. And with that being said, that's a wrap for this episode. And I hope you got tons of value from this episode. And if you are interested in turning your expertise into an online business that helps you replace your nine to five, I'd love to give you access to a free video I created that tells you how. You can get access to that video at ceoblueprintacademy.com. That's ceoblueprintacademy.com. So if you found value in this episode and you enjoyed this episode, hit the subscribe button wherever it is that you're watching or listening to this episode. And also leave a comment or a review. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear your questions and I'd love to see how we can connect so I can help you see the results you desire in your service provider business. 
Once again, thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to tune in next Tuesday for a new episode, season five of the Boss Experience Podcast. Take care and be well.